What is up, everyone? All right, today, <laughs> okay, so let me give you a little glimpse into my life right now as it stands. <laughs> I am at the point where I have filmed all of the videos that I was like, I absolutely must film before I have this baby. So now I'm in uncharted territory <laughs> where I'm just filming about whatever. I mean, I'm always filming about whatever I want, but I hadn't like fully planned these next few weeks, but I have some time to pre-film some more. That's what I'm trying to say. So today I had the bright idea to film this video because <laughs> I am really in a filming mood, which means this is gonna be a long chatty video. I'm just gonna let you know right now. <laughs> but I was like, I wanna share what's in my Sephora like wish list slash, okay, really what's in my Sephora cart. By the time you're seeing this, the Sephora sale, it has started. And you've also maybe seen my other Sephora video, which was sponsored by Sephora. So exciting. I still can't believe I got to work with them. And that was sharing my recommendations, things I love that I highly recommend you check out during their spring savings event. Well, that's still going on and I wanna share unsponsored, of course, what I am buying this time around. I mentioned in that video, you know, I might share that, so here we are. But I also was like, well, I need to get ready for the day, so I'll do it get ready with me style. And then I thought about it, I was like, and also we could just like chat about life too. So it's just gonna be <laughs> all three of those things wrapped into one, that's all. So let's just do it. I've got my coffee here and a random assortment of makeup to put on. I don't know that we're gonna be trying anything necessarily new today. I do have a few things I could. We'll see, we'll see if what strikes my fancy, you know? Um, also, I'm wearing this. This makes me think of my dad, okay, in the best way. So my dad growing up used to wear these, does he still wear them? These like thick flannel things. So like every Saturday and Sunday, this would, he'd be throwing his on. The same one for decades. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so it just makes me think of him, but I, I got it for Christmas. I think it was on Amazon and it's just like super oversized, but it's like super comfy and it's like a super rainy day. I predict this video will be 40 minutes long. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, I'm gonna throw on the Smashbox Minimize Pores Primer. I think they've already like redone all their primers and it's in different packaging or something. So I'm like, I feel like I just got this <laughs> anyway. But I like to put this kind of primer just right there. So, I have a lot in my cart and I probably need to whittle it down, but I'm also like viewing this next Sephora order I'm gonna place as kind of like a push present to myself. <laughs> so um, let me pull up my cart here. I feel like there's so many new brands, so many new launches from brands I already love. Well, I'll just go from the top. Some of these won't surprise you, but then we get into some new. So the Tatcha Indigo Overnight Repair Serum in Cream Treatment. Well, I bought that and was like, I hope I love it, but also I hope I don't because it's expensive. Well, guess what? I love it. <laughs> so I've already gone through it. I literally have like one use left, I think. I'm gonna buy it again because I really feel like it just, my skin loves it. And the next morning after I use that as my, I use it as my moisturizer, my skin looks awesome. It just looks awesome. And I don't think it's a pregnancy thing. I really think it's the skincare. <laughs> so that I'm, I'm just gonna buy while I can save some money on it. I'm gonna use, cause I still don't know how I feel about it. The L'Oreal True Match Nude Tinted Serum. I feel like I keep trying it and I keep like not paying attention. <laughs> to like how I feel, you know? Another repurchase, I'm gonna finally rebuy the Shiseido Synchro Skin Concealer, the self-refreshing concealer. I have used the one I have up and I absolutely love it. And I'm like, I constantly am, dropped it right on my belly. This dropper is absolutely terrible. Like it doesn't actually soak up much product. I hate droppers. But that is just one of my favorite, like top three favorite concealers. I talk about it a lot because it's just beautiful. It blends in perfectly. It's like medium plus coverage and it's stunning all day long. It's one of the best concealers I've ever tried. So now I'm just like painting it on with the side of the stopper. I mean, obviously it doesn't have much coverage. It's not the kind of product this is, but it does cover a little bit. I mean, you can see. Every time I've used this, I, d I know that I always layer at least like a second bit on. I just the packaging for this is so awful. And I do think it builds a bit. I mean, you're not gonna be able to build this to like insane coverage, because again, it's not the type of product it is. But I do feel like it looks like skin, you know what I mean? Like, which is nice. I mean, for most days, why don't I use this more? This is looking a lot better on top of that pore filling primer. One of the things I remember about this is it would never, it just broke apart on my nose. So having a decent primer underneath it in those areas is probably a good idea. 
Also, my nose has just been super red today. Anyway, so the other thing I just put in my car, actually, I put this in this morning. It like popped in my mind and I was like, I've been wanting to try that. It's from KVD Beauty and it's their like Mod Con contour where it's got a little doe foot. What's it actually called? Long wearing hydrating liquid gel contour. I don't know what shade though. So I need to look at swatches. I added light medium. Every time I've seen someone use this, they're like, whoa, this is really nice. And so it just seems up my alley. I do like the Charlotte Tilbury one. That's not similar application wise, but really a similar idea where it's kind of more of a Liquidy gel contour, it blends in really well, you know, that kind of thing. Okay, this is actually looking pretty nice, so that's good. I just wish the packaging were slightly different because this dropper is just awful. So yeah, it just seems to blend in really easily. Like, I don't know, it looks like the stuff of dreams, so I definitely want to try that. I feel like it would probably blend pretty well with my favorite type of bronzer, you know? I can just picture using that and it just being like, whoa. Mm. I'm gonna throw on the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. I'm still really liking this. I still haven't decided yet the exact best way to blend it on. I think brush, only because it is nice and the kind of moisturizing. And so sometimes if I use the sponge with it, it just kind of blends it away. But like a really nice soft brush. What the heck, what am I using? I just, <laughs> oh, it's the BK, that's, I hadn't used this yet. Holy crap, this is soft. So this is the BK Beauty but it's the collab with Angie from Hot and Flashy. I love her channel, oh my gosh. I was gonna say, if you have mature skin, you will really love her. You don't even have to have mature skin. She just has such good freaking information. She tries, pro oh my gosh, check her channel out. Anyway, holy crap, this is the number A A506 brush. It's a nice like slant, it's super soft. Like that was, that definitely was the first time I've used it because I hadn't, I was gonna say this was clean when I just popped it on, so that was, Really easy and really nice. So I do think a little goes a long way with this concealer, but it is a little forgiving in that it just really does have like a nice moisturizing quality to it. Some concealers that are the same thickness as this don't. And so it's really hard to blend it out, but this one's like meshing well with that lighter coverage foundation I have everywhere. Oh, I also added, Tower 28 added some new shades to their lip gloss line. And I wanna get the shade Pistachio. It looks like a kind of pinky tone. And also I'm struggling to find links for some of the shades I have. Like I have Coconut and I have Cashew. And I think Coconut I can't find anymore. Maybe it wasn't on the Sephora site, I don't know. Um, I think I was still able to find Cashew, which is more of a brownie tone and I really like that. Anyway, but yeah, I wanna add this shade Pistachio because it looks really pretty. Those, such a pretty lip gloss, you guys. You hear a lot of people talking about it for a reason. It really is so good. I'm gonna throw on the e.l.f. wow brow. I feel like I'm sleeping so terribly right now because I'm so anxious about having this baby. Not like, not the bad kind of anxious, you know what I mean, there's a difference. But just anxious about how it will all go down. I'm still at the time of filming. We don't know if we'll end up needing a scheduled C-section because she's still breech, because she is still currently breech, or if they're gonna try to manually turn her in a couple days, and if that works, then in theory, if she stays that way, it would be a vaginal birth. So I know some of you guys are watching like, whoa, Jess, didn't sign up for this, sorry. <laughs> anyway, so it, it's just that unknown. And I was telling Tyler the other day in the car, I'm like, I do not do well with unknowns. I really don't, I don't sleep well, I just don't. And so I'm, I'm almost weirdly excited to get this over, <laughs> of course I am. I'm excited to meet this sweet girl. I mean, that's the end game. That is the end game. And I was telling Tyler, you know, at the end of the day, I, I'm so focused and stressed about how the birth is gonna go down that I feel like I'm forgetting that, like my eyes are not on the prize. The prize is meeting this little girl and I've gotta like shift my focus to that because she's gonna come into this world one way or another. <laughs> but at the end of the day, we're eventually taking her home. You know what I mean? And that is the goal and that's why we're, we're in this, I was gonna say in this mess, but you know what I mean? In this, in the first place, we wanted another little baby, so. I'm, I'm just so, we're just so excited to meet her. I'm just so excited and that's enough baby talk, I promise, because I know not all of you guys are into that right now and that's totally cool. Next thing in my car is the Laura Mercier Secret Blurring Powder. This is totally a Taylor Wynn inspired addition to my cart. It just looks amazing. Speaking of, I'm gonna use this for my under eye concealer, the number seven Lift and Luminate Powder. I have so many favorite under eye powders at this point. They're, I just feel like a lot of brands are starting to knock it out of the park because they're so finely milled, which is great. I mean, I love that there's a lot of good ones out there now, but I totally wanna try that Laura Mercier one. It looks like something I'd use. I pretty much use under eye setting powder every day. If you'd asked me five years ago if I would, I, I don't know. I mean, obviously my skin is a little younger. <laughs> 
make the under eyes look just a little bit more youthful and less tired. Yeah, you can still see my red red nose through that. I was watching that other Sephora video and my chest was so red. It's looking red even here today. Maybe it just is red. Oh, however, in that video, I was freaking sweating. I was sweating because it was a hot day. We hadn't turned the heat off. And so I was trying to get the air back on. And I was like hot. So that made sense. Even my ears were red at the time. Like I was red everywhere but where my makeup was. Are you someone, I actually am curious about this. Are you someone that will do makeup like all over your chest and stuff? I wish I were that kind of person, but it will get everywhere. How do you not get it on your clothes? Because I see people do that even on YouTube and I'm like, well, your chest looks amazing and it matches and, but I do not understand it because I'm like, how are you not just getting it everywhere? And then like just living your life, like I'm picking up a kid and she's getting it on her hands or if I'm hugging Tyler, like how do you do it? Okay, what is the magic? I kind of want to try this. So this is a new product. It's the Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips. Gosh, this makes me think of being, I was gonna say a kid, but like early days of YouTube, like, this is so Physician's Formula of 2013. That's always my point, because that's when I started my channel, so that's like my point of reference <laughs> for like old school YouTube days. But it looks just really pretty. It's super shimmery. I mean, how cute is that? And it just opens up. Even the brush has some glitter to it. That's fun. Okay, this might be a little too shimmery though, but let's see. Oh, that's pretty. Let's just do it. Let's go glittery today. Rainy days call for glitter glitter on the eyes. I mean, you wouldn't be able to get, I feel like every look you do with this would look pretty much the same other than maybe that shade. So I don't know. I'm trying this, it, the quality feels nice. I bought it online and I feel like the shades looked a little bit different from each other. So I'm like, oh yeah, but no, I mean, that those are pretty much all gonna be the same look, you know? I might dig into my Wet n Wild Always Naked palette because I'm still enjoying this just to throw into the crease. So what else is in my cart? I told, I told you this would be a jumbled mess. Welcome into my brain. So, oh, oh, this I just saw suggested to me on Sephora. It was the Huda Beauty Quick and Easy Precision Liquid Liner. I liked that it looked like a really fine, 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 fine tip. That's kind of what drew me to it. And y'all know I love liquid liner. I use it almost every single day. So I'm always down to try a new one. And especially since this one is so precise, if I weren't, you know, a lot of times I'll do like a nice thick one, but sometimes it's nice to be able to be super precise with it. This is this one here. It's not super warm, but it's not super cool. It's, I mean, it's definitely warmer than it is cool, obviously, but I feel like it's right in the middle. So it's not pulling it to be like such a warm look compared to like this one here is a lot warmer than that. You know, it's like a true camel. Update on Pinocchio. He is like normal now. So if you'd seen any of my videos where we talked about it, we basically learned yes, he, he was born with hip dysplasia. And so from time to time, he'll just kind of injure it a little bit. He's just gonna be more prone to pain back there in his hip, but he's like totally fine. He's not on any medication, totally like normal. So we're just being careful about how we play with him. But you know, he's back to going on walks and he's happy as a clam and back to all his old shenanigans. So that makes me happy. There's nothing like having a sick dog or kid or animal, whatever, because just when you're annoyed with whatever it is, like whether it's a kid throwing tantrums or a dog doing his doggy stuff, like stealing food, whatever, but there's nothing like when they're sick and you feel so bad and all you want is for them to be like their normal selves again, that when they get back to their normal selves, you're like, oh, thank goodness, this tantrum, thank goodness. <laughs> so anyway, I don't know that I would recommend this. Like I might use it from time to time just to get, but I wouldn't say anyone needs to go out and buy it. It's nothing special. I think before I buy this Huda Beauty liquid liner though, I need to pull all of my liquid liners together and really look at what I've got because I have a lot and I really need to use through what I have, but I also really want it. <laughs> So we'll see. Oh, okay, talk me out of this one. The Gucci Flora Gorgeous Gardenia Eau de Parfum Rollerball. I keep seeing, of course, ads for the Gucci Flora perfume. No, I don't need it. If you saw my vlog where I decluttered my perfumes. No, I don't need it, but I love perfume. I just do. And so I have the Rollerball because I figure at least that I could use up. Hopefully I'll like it, but I don't want to buy. I'm trying to be really good about buying big ones before I like even know if I like it, you know? which is hard. <laughs> How does it smell? I haven't smelled it in person. So like if you smelled it and if you know what I like, would I like it? Is it super florally? Because if it is, I don't want it. That is not, that's not my vibe. So let me know your thoughts if you've smelled it and or if you use it, if you think I would like it. Cause that might just move to my loves and sit there for a little while longer. Nothing better than like a freshly sharpened <laughs> nub of an eyeliner. <laughs> so what is the weather like where you guys are? Is it spring for you guys now? Obviously it depends on the hemisphere you're in. 
you might be heading into fall right now. I remember not really understanding that as a kid at all. I mean, obviously at a certain point you learn it. You don't understand it when you're really young, but like I feel like I was way too old when I learned that the seasons were the opposite for the other hemisphere. Do you know what I mean? Like way too old. Like someone should have taught me that when I was younger. Not you parents. Did you guys know? I'm <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, so it's just one of those things that now as an adult, I think about it a weird amount because there are YouTubers of course that I follow and it's like, wow, well we're getting out of the trenches of winter and heading into spring. They're like, oh my gosh, fall is here and they're moving into fall and talking about their favorite like warm coffees and candles. And it's just so cool, man. But I'm just kind of curious, where do you live? We live in the Midwest, so we do get a true four seasons, you know? And it's been like, today is a rainy day, but we've had some weirdly nice days early on this spring. It has been so amazing. So I'm like, yeah, I'll take some rainy days. April showers bring May flowers. All right, so what else? I threw in the Amica dry shampoo. That's one I'm thinking about. I need to look at my stash of dry shampoos because if I have like two more that are unopened, I'm gonna wait on that until maybe their fall sale because I don't know that I need it just yet and I know I can save money again, you know, in the future. But this, the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Tint. Ooh, baby. <laughs> I love their freaking, I love a lot of Shiseido products, but I love their self-refreshing foundation. I've talked about it a lot. Their tint, man, for like everyday use, I'm like, oh boy. So that is definitely saving my car. I just need to figure out my shade. I have the shade 125 in there right now, we'll see. But that is like not budging, I'm definitely gonna buy. So by the time you're seeing this, I would have already bought because the sales already started. The Fresh Floral Recovery Redness Reducing Overnight Mask. This looks really good to me. It is pricey, but it says it evens your skin tone and texture. Let me see. An overnight face mask that's clinically proven to calm signs of sensitivity, redness, uneven tone, rough texture for a visibly even toned complexion. It's got some squalane in it. So I feel like I could use that. Redness is definitely something I battle from time to time. I mean, you literally saw it on my nose today, but even on like my cheeks, I feel like there's a chance I might like that. And I love overnight masks. Like the idea that you just put it on and you really don't ever, a lot of them, I don't know about this one, they say a lot of them you don't even rinse off in the morning. Oh, it has vitamin C in it too. So you can use it two different ways. It says apply an even layer on the face and leave on overnight, which is probably what I'll do. Or for immediate relief, apply and leave on for five to 10 minutes and then gently massage in the excess. So either way, you're not rinsing it off, you're leaving it on. And I love that kind of a overnight mask. Let's see what else is in my cart here. Oh, I added another, speaking of the little nub of a liner I have, I added another of the Makeup by Mario Perfect Brown Eyeliner, it's my favorite. So another one of those is in there. And then I finally added another shade of the Sephora Rouge Gel Lip Liner, I, it's my favorite lip liner. They're like 13 bucks. I added the shade 12, the red, because the red that I have from them right now is called It's Cherry, and it's a really beautiful blue tone red, but sometimes I'm not using blue tone red, I'm using more of like an orange tone red, you know, yellow toned, whatever you call it. And this doesn't quite work. Like you can actually really see the difference. So I'm like, it's my favorite. I know it stays in place well, so I'm just gonna get the other version of the red. This is a glossy A liquid liner. I, it's fine. I don't think I'd ever need to buy it again though. I mean, it's looking pretty nice in black though. I feel like the first times I used it, it wasn't. And I was like, oh, well, I mean, it's glossy A, so their whole thing is like understated, you know. So it makes sense that maybe this wouldn't be super black, but now it's looking like super black. So maybe I just needed to like shake it more. <sighs> Not my best liner job, you guys. So I also added the Ula Henriksen Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer. So I love like ceramides and peptides in a moisturizer and that that's what this has, it has collagen too. It just sounds up my alley. And I'm going to be honest, the color of the packaging draws me in. <laughs> like that lilac, oof. One of my favorite colors. So it's a daily moisturizer powered by peptides, amino acids, ceramides, and collagen. Quickly doubles hydration, visibly boosts elasticity. <laughs> I said that weird. Improves the look of fine lines and wrinkles and reinforces skin's moisture barriers. So, I mean, it just sounds like exactly what I would like. My only thing is I would probably use this at night, not during the day, because during the day I typically use my like SPF as my moisturizer. I'm currently using, and I like it well enough, but I don't think I'd need to buy it again, the Naturium moisturizer. And I think it's fine, but it's just not my favorite. That's how many, I bought three products from the brand Naturium. One of them I loved, that was the Fido Lip Glow Balm stuff. Love that, you can get it at Target. But the cleansing oil from them, I hated. 
like really, like genuinely hated. Burned my eyes, like did not remove all the makeup. It was one of the worst I've tried in a long time. They have another cleansing oil though. Like there's like one in a jar. I haven't tried that one. The one I have is in a squeezy tube and I just did not like it. But I'm currently trying one from Amazon. I can link below. It's like from AOA. So it's around 10-ish dollars on there. I'm sure it's cheaper if you buy it on the Shop Miss A site. Undoubtedly, it will be cheaper on there. But I'm really enjoying it and it does a way better job and it's cheaper, so that's good. But their moisturizer that I'm trying, I just, I just feel like it's fine. It's just fine. And again, it's not a crazy expensive brand, but it's not cheap either. So that's not one I think that I would recommend. But with that in mind, I'm gonna be in need of a moisturizer when I'm through that. And so I'm thinking that Ula Henriksen might be might be the ticket, baby. This is the Bite Upswing mascara, by the way. All right, what else is in my overstocked cart here? Oh, the Bobbi Brown Skin Corrector Stick. Natural looking color correction stick that neutralizes dark under eye circles. So basically, it sounds like my favorite Bobbi Brown under eye corrector, but in a stick format. And that would be amazing, because you know, with the, with the one I have, it's a little pot, so you gotta, you know, tap it on and that's fine. But the idea that I could just use a stick and then tap it in sounds amazing. So that is like that and the Shiseido tint that I mentioned are like top two. If I'm only buying a couple things, those are it. So this Bobbi Brown stick, I am so excited to try and see how I like it. I am betting since obviously I'm taking a little time off once we have this baby. I'll, we'll see what I have pre-filmed like this video. Um, so you'll still probably be seeing some videos from me, but I'll probably post bits on Instagram from time to time and maybe within that, and that'll just be when I feel like it. Cause listen y'all, I've done this for so many years, like without fail and I, I love what I do. I'm going to miss doing it. <laughs> so, you know, if I feel like during a nap time popping on and talking on my Instagram stories about some of these products I'll be trying, I'll definitely try to do that. And if you are not following me on Instagram yet, it is at it's Jessica Braun over there. It's the same on. TikTok. Why is this clumping up so much? This is the Bite Upswing, like I said, and it can look so freaking beautiful. Like, absolutely beautiful. It's a drier formula though, but like, if you wait too long in between coats, it just starts getting like weird. So you just have to like go in right away and be ready to be done, you know? But I do, I really like the way it looks. We gotta get some bronzer on this face to at least get closer to my chest. So I also have in there the Pat McGrath Matte Trans Lipstick. I want to get another because I only own two shades. One of them was like a limited edition that you can't even get your hands on. But I don't typically like matte lips, but y'all, this matte lipstick is stupid. It's like so freaking gorgeous. So I have the shade Omi and it's really pretty, but I wanted to get a blue tone red and they have one called Elsin number 13 and it's a blue toned red. That's in my cart right now. But then I'm like, well, do I want another nude as well? So if you have any recommendations, like there's this one in Christie that says it's a divine beige nude. Beautiful Stranger is a coral rose. I'm adding that to my cart real fast. That sounds interesting, okay. And then I also have the Rose Ink Hydrating Concealer. This is one that gets crazy hype. The reviews are really good. If I'm understanding it correctly, it's Rose Huntington Whiteley's brand, or she's a spokesperson for it, whatever. That's why it's called Rose Ink. And yeah, this product, I've tried one other thing from their brand and it's the cream blush and I do really like it. So, you know, so far so good. I think I'm gonna finally buy it. I think this might've been in my cart and I took it out during the last savings event. So I think I'm gonna finally get it this time. And then I also added, this was a Jamie Page inspired edition, the Makeup Forever liner in Anywhere Caffeine. It's like her favorite lip liner. And A, I've never tried Makeup Forever's lip liners, but also it's a color like every time I hear her talk about it, I'm like, I need to buy that. I want to try that out. And it always looks so good on her. So that's in my cart as well. Oh, I wanted to use more of the Physician's Formula bronzers that I got recently. I'm going to try the Butter Coffee this time because this is the one. Was that the one that was darker or was it Butter Cake? No, I don't remember. No, we'll try Butter Cake this time. I think I used Butter Coffee last time because it's a little bit lighter. Oh, it does smell really good though. I'm kind of catering it to the lighter shades here because it is a little bit deeper than I would typically go for like a bronzer. So if you're near me and you're between some, I think the Butter Coffee is a better bronzer shade, but the overspray on this is just gone. Like you touch it once and it's gone. That seems to be the way of things with Physicians Formula right now. And I'm like, I get that I'm sure it's cheaper to just do an overlay Physician Formula. I get it. And you're a drugstore brand, blah, blah, blah. However, <laughs> everything's not like $5. They're more expensive than that. And you know, if someone's buying, like I saw that really cute strawberry blush. Um, I've seen a couple YouTubers using that and I didn't buy it. And then I saw it, I'm like, oh, I wanna buy it. And then I saw 
no, the strawberries are gone the second you touch it. I'm like, someone is buying that for what they're seeing. And so it just seems so just dumb. I'm like, really, you can't get the color to go all the way down. You can do that with these stripes. These colors go all the way down. Like, it just bothers me, man. It just bothers me. So Physician's Formula, if you care, stop doing oversprays. We're all over them. We're not 12. I don't know. Why would 12 year olds like oversprays? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, we can still be adults and like the cutesy stuff like that. But if we're going to buy a cutesy thing, I'd like it to at least stay cutesy as I'm using it. Somewhat cutesy. <sighs> Actually though, that does look nice and at least looks a little more even-ish out, you know? So the other things, oh my gosh, I have so much in my freaking cart, you guys. The LYS Beauty Triple Fix Brightening Concealer. I just have to try it. I have <laughs> liked so much from LYS and I like their Triple Fix powder. I like their triple fix foundation. I like their cream blush, their matte bronzer. There's a lot from that brand I really like. And so this is one of their newer launches and it's just on my, on my radar. So I've heard some buzz about it, but I, I honestly haven't picked up on whether it's good or bad yet. So I think I'm just going to try it. And then I've been burned by Merit before. I did not like the Merit cream blush. I like a lot of cream blush. It just wasn't one for me. I can tell you that, but they have a new, it says it's signature lip lightweight lipstick. And it just looks so pretty. <laughs> so I'm like, I know I've been burned before, but I think I might trust them again and give it a whirl because A, the packaging just looks really pretty, okay. It's a new lipstick launch that's getting some buzz. I've had some questions from you guys like in DMs about it. And so I think I might buy it. The shade I have in my cart right now is Baby. And it's kind of just like a, you know, like neutrally pink, surprise, surprise. But I'm like, well, I wanna get a shade I know I'll wear because it's not a cheap one and plus, then I'll wear it, like I said. <laughs> this is the Ulta Stay Cheeky Liquid Blush in Dusty Pink, one of my favorites. I need to blend some stuff together though because I'm looking real patchy. <laughs> so that's everything in my cart. I have like other things just sitting in my loves, you know, that I'm like, maybe, I don't know. What are you guys getting? Are you buying anything during the sale? Are you buying like one thing? Are you buying nothing and sitting it out? Like for me, I'll watch videos like this, not even necessarily to like buy anything. I just like hearing about what's out there, what people are, interested in like I just find it interesting and plus I just like talking about makeup so you know I'm gonna throw on this Bobbi Brown crushed oil infused gloss in New Romantics it's just such an easy everyday gloss and it I almost hesitate it is a gloss but it's not it is not sticky or thick like this is a very comfortable like balmy type product but it just kind of like blends in it's I really like it. I'm trying to think if there's any other updates in my life to like fill you guys in on, you know? I feel like we're as ready as we can be. There's still a couple things on our to-do list that we'd love to get done in the next week or two, but like if we don't, it's fine. One thing we realized pretty quickly was that, I'm gonna throw on the Flower Beauty Day Glow. It's like a cream highlight. It's so pretty. One thing we realized really quickly is we wanted to have everything done before like Genevieve came. Then we had like nothing to do. Like this is gonna sound ridiculous. Obviously you're busy with the baby. <laughs> but for us, we both thrive on do, like projects and getting things done. And when we had nothing to do other than just take care of the baby during nap times, I wouldn't be able to sleep. Like I would try to sleep during nap times, but I would be think my your mind is going a million miles a minute. Like I could not sleep during nap time. So then I'd be up and I'm like, well, I've got things to do like dishes and stuff, but like sometimes it's nice to have stuff to do that's outside of just the normal everyday dishes, cleaning up, you know? And so having little bits of projects to get done just whenever you can would have been nice. So I think that's why we've been kind of dragging our feet on a few things. Cause we're like, you know, that's something that we're still gonna have the day, you know what I mean? And uh, yeah, so we'll see how all that goes and how much more we get done in the next week or so. But uh, yeah, definitely feeling the butterflies. <laughs> So that is everything. I hope this really random weird video was fun to watch, <laughs> or maybe you're just like hanging out, man. Me too. I'm just hanging out, <laughs> just biding my time. <laughs> I feel like you can probably feel through the screen the like that palpable, you know, like it's like bees buzzing. <laughs> anyway, but I love you guys. Thanks for coming along this journey the past nine months with me and plus because i know most of you guys have been around for even longer and just chilling with me chatting about makeup that's not going to change so uh, i hope it was fun to see what's in my sephora cart i really am curious what you're getting this time around or if you're not getting anything or if there's anything that you're like hey jess i'd actually be really curious to hear your thoughts on this new launch let me know what those new launches are because i still have time and i'll you know be by my phone a lot so <laughs> i can certainly place a second order 
<laughs> Not that I need to. Anyway, but I love you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.